friends, welcome! My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome to Blue Tier. This is actually a hidden object game and I got sent it through Keymailer. It's the last of my Christmas games that I got sent over Christmas through Keymailer. Oh my god. It took me forever to get through them all. I just got like bombarded with loads all at once and I was just like, and I was really ill so I didn't get the chance to finish them and like play them all. So now this is actually my final one from December. I do have some from January and February that I need to get through as well but this is the you know the big bulk that I got from Christmas so I'm glad that, that I'm getting through them and this is the final one so this is gonna be cool it's a hidden object game and if you don't know what that is it's normally like you'll be presented with like a massive like background I guess you could say with like loads of different items and it will give you a list and you have to find the items that it lists and I used to love these games when I was younger I used to play them all the time I used to really like them it's got a story to it as well I think so um, we got beginner or experts hints and skip recharge more slowly active zones are not high we'll just go beginner I don't know we'll just go beginner when I decided to travel to the abandoned manor I had no idea that the journey would change my life forever it all began when I received a strange letter according to the stamp on the envelope it had been deposited at the post office at the start of the last century the envelope contained a letter from some distant relative and a will that declared you the owner of a manor. The letter said that horrible, mysterious events were happening in the manor, and that I was my wretched relative's last and only hope. Despite the warning not to bring anyone with me to the manor, my friends decided to come along. Okay, interesting. After all, none of us expected to see anything special in that manor. <laughs> it looks haunted. Since the ruins of a house abandoned long ago. But when I approached the house, I suddenly felt as if I had crossed some sort of invisible line. As if an invisible wall now stood between me and the rest of the world. My friends had already entered the house, but I couldn't take another step. My feet had turned to stone. Oh my god, it's a ghost. <laughs> Her face, oh my god. That is like the most funniest face I've ever seen. <laughs> Was that meant to be shocked? I don't know. you've decided to come here. Now, you can save your family. What, ha what, what happened to her family? Well, maybe it has puzzle elements to this as well. I'm not sure. Okay, oh, next. I am the White Wizard. For many years, I've kept the Black Wizard imprisoned in this manor. However, I cannot keep your family safe forever. Did he just say manor? Isn't it a manor? <laughs> He's a white wizard, okay. He looks like he's like some kind of tribal dude or something. There's a black wizard imprisoned in the manor, right? And apparently our family isn't safe, okay. You, the true heir of the blue tear, can stop the black wizard. Of course. You cannot enter this house right now. To confront the black wizard, you must first obtain a powerful amulet and a special ritual mask. I will stay here and keep an eye on your friends. And you will travel to the very beginning of this tragic story. You know, the story is actually a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be, so that's cool. Okay, what's that? The hell? Did, did that just go inside my character? That looked really weird. <laughs> I don't know. Oh god, where are we now? We got teleported to somewhere. Nice boots. Oh, I have to click next, don't I? Oh no, okay, it's fine. Okay, now he looks more like a person and less like a, a spiritual being. When the mouse cursor turns to a hand, you can pick up useful items. Okay, I got a useful item. What is that? It's a branch. All the items you have found are kept here. To use one of the items, you need to take it. Take the branch. Okay. When the mouse cursor turns into gear wheels, you need to use a suitable item. Put the branch onto the fire. Okay. Maybe it's got like quite a few puzzle elements to it then. I thought it was just a hidden object game, but maybe not. Yeah, you smoke that pipe. <laughs> He's gonna get high. Oh my god. What the hell? Maybe I'm high. <laughs> We, the ancestral spirits of this village, welcome you. The White Wizard has summoned us to help. He said that you can right the wrong done by your relative. 
She took the blue tear away from the village, thus enabling the black wizard to return into the world of humans, where he will search for new hosts for this black spirit over and over again for all eternity. Right, you have been transported to the time and place where this horrible tale began. Here you will find everything you need to prepare you for your confrontation with the black wizard. First of all, you are going to need an amulet. All of the components for the amulet can be found in front of the wizard. Put together a bone, a bead, a lock of hair and a thistle flower. Right, okay. The spots where the cursor becomes a magnifying glass can be zoomed in on. Okay, so we can zoom in. Ah, okay. Sometimes you need to assemble several separate pieces into one hole in order to gain a useful item. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta put them in. Ah, okay. We gotta, like, combine them. We gotta put them all into the bag. Okay. That makes sense. Right. We now have a bag. <laughs> Yay. Always carry this amulet with you and you will be able to summon the spirit of the white wizard to your aid. You will also need a special ritual mask, but the master of masks is severely ill. His spirit wanders between heaven and earth. He is the only one who knows where this mask is hidden. You must bring the master of masks back to life. First of all, examine the sick man, then come back to us. We will tell you what to do next. Oh my god, just burn away. Okay, you can get the word blah, blah blah blah, okay. Harsh smoke fills the room. Go to the village and find a house with an altar in front of it. Do I leave? Can I talk to the man? Okay, I have to leave. Okay, to the village. There is an altar near the house entrance. Examine the altar thoroughly. Somebody placed a notebook into the altar. Take the notebook. Okay, we got the notebook. I found a notebook belonging to some traveller. Amazingly, the notebook is in great condition, although the only page with entries date back to the last century. Too bad the other pages have gone missing. So can we go next page or something? Oh, oh, okay. We've arrived at the next village along our route. It's a fascinating place, a treasure trove of artifacts. The locals' faith in the presence and help of their ancestors is almost tangible. Ritual masks, figurines and altars are everywhere. Looks like the local wizard rules the place. The locals believe that he can take on spirit form to travel to wherever he needs to be at the moment. Right, okay. Now what do I do? What's that sparkly thing? Stakes, feathers, ritual figurines. Okay, I see a small round hole surrounded by symbols under the threshold. I think I should try throwing something into the hole. What do I, what, uh, maybe I examine the place under the awning in the village. What? What? Oh, okay. Places where you can look for useful items. All right, so I look here. Okay, look for the items from the list. Ah, okay, here we go. Now we're getting into the hidden object stuff. So we need the mask. Right, we're done. Now collect all the other items. Okay, so now we need to find a horn, a lizard, patty pan squash. What the hell is that? Hedgehog and an avocado. Okay, let me see if I can spot any of it. There's a spiky thing there. Oh, that was the hedgehog. Okay, <laughs> I only saw the spiky thing. What's that? What's that thing there? Nothing? Okay, um, a lizard and a squash and an avocado. Is that something? No. Nope. Okay, hmm. Uh, oh, there's the avocado. Ah, I see it, I see it. Okay, now just the lizard, uh, a horn, and the squash thing. Is that the squash there? No, oh, okay. Thought it might be. That looks like a horn. Is that really not the horn? Okay, maybe not. Is that the horn there? Ah, I found the horn. Okay, okay, we got the horn. We just need the squash and the lizard. It might be like staring at me, like right in the face, and I just can't see it, you know, because like these hidden object games are really good at hiding things. Look, like the man like hiding in the tree and stuff like that. It's like really good with stuff like that. Hmm, see if I can, if I can see it. I can't see nothing. This is where I just like start clicking everywhere. That normally works. <laughs> and then you just like find something by accident. Hang on, there's a turtle there, and a weird seed thing. It's not that, because that would be a funny looking lizard. I can't see the lizard anywhere. Where is the lizard? Oh, I found something. I found the patty pan squash. It looked really weird back there, so I clicked it. I wasn't even sure what it was. <laughs> I still don't know what it was. <laughs> but okay, is that the lizard there? 
kind of looks like a tail. No, I can't find the lizard for the life of me. Am I just blind or what? I just can't. Oh, I see it. He's like camouflaged. <laughs> I found him. Okay. If the name of an object is highlighted blue, you need to perform some sort of action to find it. Take the bow. That. Okay. Give the bow to the hunter to get an archer. Oh, okay. Click on the archer. This is so weird. Great, now assemble another item. Smoke. I need to make smoke with something. How do I make smoke? Oh, hang on. What's that? These coals are still hot. I can use them to set a piece of wood on fire. I need to find a piece of wood. Like, how can I take a piece of wood? I need something. Here. Here? Wait, something happened. Oh, here. The pipe is stuffed with grass. If I set it on fire, it will give off lots of smoke. I set it on fire but how do I set it on fire ah so I put wood on there to make the fire to get the fire to go and then I put grass in over there or something to get that right okay but I need wood the first thing I need is wood right is this the wood I need back here or something there's loads of wood back here but it's not letting me do anything with it so I'm not sure can I like do anything in my bag oh yeah, yeah, oh, okay, is that the wood? Oh, the wood's right there. Oh, okay, 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 I got it, I got ya. <laughs> There's the smoke, okay. Your search was successful. Take the bauble decorated with magic ornament. Okay, we got the bauble thing. I was wondering what that was. Okay, now what do we do? Ah, this is the thing that goes in the hole. Right, I get ya, okay. Ah, here it is, here it is. And then we put the ball in there. Right, I got ya. Okay, now what's going on? What's this? What the hell? We have to make them all face the same way? Or something? Oh, oh, okay. We have to fling this back. Ah, and we have to get this to go into the hole. I wasn't sure what I was doing. I didn't see the ball down here <laughs> until just now. Okay, this one has to go, has to move. Okay, go. Go, ball, go. Ah, okay. Need to do this thing, maybe. I'm not sure if that work. Does that work? No, it doesn't, doesn't quite hit it. Hmm. Maybe. Let's try this. Will it hit if it does that? No, it goes too far over. That must go like that. Let's try like that. Oh, okay. That goes back down. So what happens if I do it that way? No, so it has to go that way. Like that. And then maybe I have to move this one. So that makes it go back. Ah, there we go. Woo, I did it. I did it. I did it. Now what does that do? Why is there a chicken? <laughs> Some shiny object has attracted the chicken's attention. Oh, okay. Perhaps I need it, but I need to distract the chicken. Right. Okay, so what did that even do? Oh, we can go in this little house now. Right, I see. So a man is lying on the bed. <laughs> on the bad. Is the master of masks that the wizard was speaking about. He is barely breathing. I must examine him. Oh, nice little shells. Someone started the necklace but didn't have a chance to string on the beads. I think they began to assemble this necklace after the incident. The locals believe that the ritual necklace will improve the sick man's condition. I have no idea what I'm doing here or what I'm supposed to be doing. It doesn't tell you much, it just kind of says, here you go, here's a puzzle. Now get on with it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I think maybe I need some items or something. There's a key that needs to go into there. There's some stuff here. Oh, hang on, I got something. I talked to the mask's master today, begged him to let me see the sacred cave where he works. But the master of masks told me that it was forbidden. The cave is the place where they craft ritual masks, which enables spirits to communicate with humans. The locals believe that a ritual mask can be inhabited by a spirit of an ancestor or a wizard if it was crafted properly. Okay, we got paints but no wood chips. So we need wood chips apparently. We're doing something here. Like there's so many like different things to like find before you can do stuff. So what's this? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what's this? It won't budge. We need to find something to... Uh, open that. What's this here? What's this random thing? Oh, I watched the master of masks choose a tree for his new creation. He believes that the tree that gives wood for the mask must be kept alive, otherwise the owner of the mask will die too. This is why only one branch is cut off to craft a mask. What are these things here? Five objects used to hang here, now one of the ropes is empty. So we're missing one here. 
apparently. There's lots of stuff here. So, can we do anything? Ah, oh, oh, I got something. What was that? A sack. <laughs> okay, that's a bit random. Hmm. I kind of like that you just have to work everything out though and it doesn't really tell you what to do. It's kind of interesting. Just gonna like put my mouse over everything right now just to see if anything like pops up at all. I don't think like this must be used for something. I don't know. Hang on, can we go back a second? What is that on his hand? Can we explore his hand? His hand is clenched, but I can see blood dripping from his palm, which means his palm is cut. I cannot examine the wound while his hand is clenched why is it like how could you be lying there with your hand clenched if you're like i don't know i don't even know what this does i have no idea anyway i'm going to stop here for today let me know in the comments section below what you thought of this game thank you for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i hope i'll see you next time Shoot, <laughs>